quite literally. Now, my point is, though, with Minecraft, even though there were no objectives, um, I still played it forever because... Um, and I'm just exploring around this lava, by the way, to see if there's anything cool. There's some redstone. I grew up playing with Legos, and this was like just digital Legos for me. And so I was, I could just play this forever, just getting blocks and rearranging blocks. I mean, it was just completely up my alley. And unlike in Legos, they would never get stuck together. And I, wa I wasn't limited because, like, Legos are actually kind of expensive. And so when I was growing up, I didn't have that many Legos. I had some, but not a lot. I built a sugarcane factory. but And when I say factory, it only had, like, three sugarcane in it. But I still felt like it was cool. All right, I'm going to go over here and uh, see what block that is in the lava. And, ooh, what's this? Oh, it's another way that I've already been. All right. Wah, wah. Okay. So I was going to ask you guys a question about this situation here. And I guess I can just discover for myself. But, um, if there's a block that's adjacent, if I farm this, if I mine this, it will get killed by the lava, right? But, oh, I see what you're saying, perfect. If I build cobblestone around it, then I can get it um, and pick it up safely. Okay, cool. Good idea. Let's do that. So let's practice being a good player. Oh, water bucket. I got you. I could be... I see what you're saying. There we go. So now I think I can get this, unless there's lava under it. Ooh, wow, look at that. That was fun. Yeah, there was some lava down there. This is a fun experiment in lava working with magma. You know, don't you always have these fun days when you're... You're just working with magma? Okay, so if I water bucket it, let's see what happens then. I'm reminding myself... Um, okay, so then the tile that had the flowing lava is now a, a buck, like a, a water area, and then the solid block of lava has turned into obsidian, and I can refill my bucket, and then I'm good. Interesting. Leave the water? Oh, I was, um... Oh, I see what you mean. And then mine the coal. Okay. Right. And then... Oh, cool. It's protecting me in the future from all uh, other lava. Cool. Thank you. I love how the water in this game has, like, a current to it. And it pushes you along. It's kind of fun. And now, if I remember correctly... I can scoop up the water, but only on a full square of water. Is that right? And then it all disappears. Okay, yeah. Cool, it's a one-source block. And then here's obsidian, which actually looks really cool with this texture pack. I love how this um, obsidian looks. Only the source block. All right. Oh, here it comes. I'm, I'm using my uh, water. I am using a texture pack that is called... I don't remember the name. Um, it is in my, on my YouTube channel. Uh, it's in the description. And I could look at the... For the videos in this series. If anybody's interested in watching the entire beginning of this... Um, my water died... I, I got bested by the lava, huh? Wah, wah. All right, I got to go get some more water. That was funny. You see, I really need to up my game with my water bucket because the lava was above the water, I see. So it's a 
it's a constant battle of which one is on top. Try pouring the water while looking at the ceiling above the lava. Oh, okay. Good idea. I love how the lava flow looks. It's so cool. All right. Um, anyway, I don't need to mess around with that anymore. Oh, I see. So it turns the entire lake, it just spreads over the whole surface of it and turns it into obsidian? That's interesting. I might want more than one water bucket because I'm I'm not a pro yet. Like, I think if I were a pro with the water bucket, you could only just have one. But I'm going to get into situations like that in the future where I botch it. So I'm going to take... Now, can you use milk? Um, does milk turn lava into obsidian milk? You can only drink it? Okay. Oh, that's right. Thank you guys for reminding me of that. Two water buckets makes infinite water. Cool. Hey, Rockador, good morning. How's it going? All right, I'm going to go feed my cows and get some water, everybody. Oh, it's nighttime. Let's rest. You know what happened last time because I had forgotten to rest? was that uh, I got attacked by a phantom. I didn't even... When I played Minecraft, there was no phantom. I didn't even know what was happening. Rockador, I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. All right. By the way, um, with these shaders, I love how the water looks. It's... It's kind of fun to be in Minecraft where it's like this blocky world and yet the water is like hyper realistic. It's it's a funny effect. All right, let's get some water and let's just go ahead and feed our animals. Let me get some sugar cane while I'm out here. Hey, cows. Here you guys go. Can you make babies? Here they come. Thanks, cows. Good work, cows. Oh my gosh, these cows love it. All right, great. Okay, and I'll just switch off and they won't follow me anymore. Okay, terrific. You had 200 cows? I was actually curious about that, Lord Rubidor. How many cows can you have in a pen? Is it limited by... Is it, like, determined by the size of the pen? Oh, they'll start to suffocate? Oh my god. That's a farm gone wrong right there. That's terrible. I don't want any cow deaths. You can only have 24 on one block or something, Crab, and then they start suffocating? Wow, interesting. Man, this is like... I have to tell you guys, this is basically an amazing education into how deep this game has gotten since I've played it. Like, you guys are just dropping these bombs on me, and I can't even believe... Um, I, there's two things I can't believe. Number one, how intricate the game, you know, has become with its depth. And then, number two, how much you guys know about it just immediately. Like, offhand, like it just comes into your mind instantly. You're like, yep, this is exactly the way it works. Oh no, he hit me. I should have used my shield better. Oh well, we got him. Okay, cool. Alright. I'm going to plant these wheat seeds. I need to get my wheat going so my cow army can go. Everything on the block just starts taking damage. Interesting. Well, I'll have to avoid that. That sounds terrible. Alright, what am I having in my bag so far? 
I really collected a lot out there, actually. It was kind of crazy. All right, so I got my two water buckets. I got a bunch of redstone. All right, so let's just... Like I said, I'm going to try to keep the good habits and keep my stuff somewhat organized. Gunpowder. That sounds cool. Let's store that. Um... All right, this looks good. I can put this torch here. I can put this in here, this in here. Um, oh, I have all these gold bars. Yeah, CSGO is insane. Perfect. I haven't ever played it. I've seen people play it, but the depth there is pretty crazy. Can you guys um, help me understand what is gold good for? What am I going to be doing with gold? I have some of it. Is it useful? Trading with piglins, golden apples, and carrots. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm just like, what is all of this gold? Like, why do I want this? And I don't know if I do. Yes, look at this. I love my house with signs. I feel really strong. Okay, Lord Rubidor. Thank you. Hey... K10, what's up? How you doing? I'm still learning Minecraft too. I mean, I can't believe how much there is to learn in this game. It's funny how I started playing, um, you know, Minecraft like you guys back then, 2012, maybe 2011. I'm not sure whenever the beta was. And... It's just passed me by, and I'm trying to catch up. Like, my niece and nephew um, crush me at this game with how much they know. Yeah, Kaiten, that's what I'm doing too, is just kind of going nice and slow. Did you guys um, disconnect? Did I? I hope not. I'm still here. Um, JR, good morning, my friend. How are you doing? I'm so glad you could catch a Minecraft stream, JR. I felt bad, JR, because I know that you are uh, more able to catch the nighttime streams on EST, but um, because I did Stardew, I didn't have time to do Minecraft. But here we are. Oh, a USB disconnect? Uh, well, I wouldn't be surprised, but I hope not. All right. Lord Rubidor, okay, thank you so much for stopping in. Oh my gosh, you're still locked out? I thought they fixed those problems, Lord Rubidor. Oh my gosh, how frustrating. I'm so sorry to hear that. That is the worst. This has to be one of the worst lockouts in RuneScape history then, doesn't it? Oh, JR, darn. I'm sorry to hear your allergies are acting up. Hopefully some Minecraft is just what the doctor ordered. It's 11 p.m. on a Wednesday in the Philippines, K10. Oh, my. I love it. I love hanging out with people... You, you know, I'm playing games and just we're all around the world. It's so amazing. It's never happened before. I mean, it's so strange. It's like, what happened? What were they doing? Ah, uh, good. Yeah, it's true. Now, remember, JR, I'm not a medical doctor. So, um, my remedies are a little bit strange. But I will say that my remedies for pretty much every ailment involve playing video games. I believe uh, it's RuneScape 3, Kai-10, that is having, like, a problem right now with people getting locked out. 
Yeah, you're right. Um, perfect it is. And, you know, bed rest is like one of the most ubiquitous uh, treatments that they recommend. So we'll just go with that. All right, let me see if I can find where I was for my abandoned village. I'm so horrible at... Uh-oh. We've got a jerk over here. I'm going to use the incompetent blade on this guy. Ooh, I got... Not today. Thank you. Cool. Thank you for reminding me about my shield. Oh, man. The shield just owned that guy. Try pouring some water on a full lava pool. Okay. Let me see if I can find one. I just walked past one. Okay, so you're saying if if I want to pour it on this, what I do is I just look up at the ceiling and then pour it down like this? Oh, just place it anywhere? Okay. Oh, just on a higher point? Okay. Um, let me just mine this block here. Oh, when you jump and attack, you do more damage, Rockador? Cool. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at that. Awesome. Boom. All right. Cool. Look, we made a bunch of obsidian. That's cool. And it's interesting. I bet if I look, I can find lava. Yep, right there. That's fun. All right, so that's a good way to just paint the entire surface. Okay, I want to um, be sure to get out of this place if I need to. So generally what I like to do... Um, I see, Lord Rubidor. Thank you for that tip. Every time you jump, you earn a dollar? Man, awesome. Where do I collect those dollars? One, two, three. There's going to be three dollars for me. Where's my three dollars? I don't know. Maybe, uh, is Notch going to just PayPal me three dollars? Is that how that works? All right. Take care, Lord Rubidor. Enjoy the warmer weather, my friend. All right, so I have water coming in here. He'll send it. All right. I mean, he has the money to spare. Do, do you guys know, is Notch even, like, involved in Minecraft anymore? Does he even do anything related to it? Or is he completely retired and disappeared from the scene? I wondered if he just, like, you know, had sold it to Microsoft and then just stepped away from it and let a team take over. Oh, he does? He's still involved? Okay, cool. That's good, because I honestly, I mean, I don't know if there's any controversy surrounding the guy, but I always liked him. He, he was so funny to read his uh, webpage back in the day when he was just the only person programming the game. All right, so let's see. There's water. I'm flowing with the water. I'm going to start... I'm going to start digging. Come on, water. I like just... Oh, he was at the he was at the caves and cliffs event for the glow squids. That's cool. You know, something I like to do in this game, and I don't know about you guys, but I really like to just play with the water physics. 
you are more familiar with it than me, but I'm always surprised, like, to see when will the water fall down, and then when will it just stop if I break the brick, you know? Like, if I break this brick, is the water going to pour over and down, or will it just stop? Okay, see, so it poured over and down and, like, made more water than ever before. Interesting. Eight blocks from a drop. Oh, okay, so you can plan it out. So with one bucket, if you uh, plan it correctly, you can just have it go, you know, nearly forever. That's awesome. That's really cool. I wish I was better at knowing that kind of stuff, but I'll learn it. That's how mob farms are made? Oh, interesting. If you increase the build limit. Yeah, you see, that's actually what I was... The reason I was thinking um, I'm going to need to start a new world when the Caves and Cliffs update comes out is because... Um, somebody was telling me on our Discord that you can roll over your game from 1.6 to 1.7, if those are the correct update numbers. However, there will be an artificial barrier at the top and the bottom of the world, and you won't be able to go to the new height or depth that the update releases. I did find a spawner, JR, and that's what I'm looking for, hilariously. I didn't mark my trail well enough into the abandoned mine. I'm trying to get back to that abandoned mine, um, but I'm doing what I normally do in Minecraft, is getting lost in the first cave that I find next to my house. Oh my god. I've died. I'm in the lava. Oh, I made it. I did it. Maybe. Oh my gosh, I almost died. Can I survive? Can I survive? How do I get out of this spot? Um, oh, I'm okay. It's all, it's all water. Okay, phew. All right, that's hilarious. Stop jumping? Yeah, okay. I couldn't stop jumping. I was so scared. I threw my bucket. Whoops. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just trying to survive. I was like, oh my god, the lava. It flowed around the corner. Okay, thank you. I'll go get it. On the left? Okay. Um, let me get it. Oh, my bucket. Oh, yeah, I see it. Thank you. It's down here. It made it. It's super bucket. This bucket will forever be remembered as the bucket that saved my life. All right, let me keep eating. Uh-huh. Hey, hey, super dog. How's it going? Good morning, my friend. Oh my gosh, that was a disaster. Recollect the water. We're, it's right here, right? Um, there we go, I got it. Yes, you're right about that. Thank you, Baby Yoda. Actually, that's a great point. You know, I'm so bad in terms of just being an old school player that what I would do when I wanted to find something, is I would just leave myself a trail of torches. And then I would follow that trail um, to get where I wanted to go. But now that I know, you can just use the, uh, the coordinates. I'm going to start doing that more often. 